this is the generator room and this the, this is the generator and uh, for the generator exhaust we have installed one new exhaust fan here and the air fresh air will take in from this duct and it will go to the roof so this is the exhaust fan this is a three phase exhaust fan and uh, how we have connected the power supply from the distribution board it's coming to this isolator from this isolator out out going going to the fan but actually we in between we put one control panel to control this fan because uh, for this generator uh, we are uh, giving this uh, providing this uh, exhaust fan so in case of generator uh, running mode the exhaust fan should start in high speed mode if the generator stops it should be running in low speed so what we did from the isolator main supply we take it to this uh, control panel so here this is the control panel in this the there are three indicate uh, led indicators ryb for the mains and uh, this led indicator for the fire active and this for low speed indicator high speed indicator and this if the fan is in uh, stop position then this off indicator and the trip and here this is the push button for low speed start high speed start stop and this uh, selector switch for the manual then at off position and then uh, automation automatic you can say and this is the fire fire reset button now we are going to start uh, this fan at low speed so we will start first we will put in the hand uh, manual mode and then we will start so now we have started the fan and uh, you can see there is some sounds are coming and the uh, air it's taking inside there is very less uh, sound so we cannot hear now we will run in high speed mode now we are operating in manual now just we'll stop and then we'll start with high speed now we have started now the sound became changed now some noisy sounds are coming but it's okay if the generator will be running in high speed it should be running in high speed still we have not connected the cable cable we have pulled till this part and we will connect this cable later so it will be interface now what we will do here we have option for uh, here you can see this the four terminal two terminal for the fire alarm interface the second three and four number is for generator interface so now we will test this one but uh, this one we will test in the auto mode now we are stopping it and then we will put in the auto mode now in the normal condition it should be running in low speed in auto mode now the fan is running in low speed now we will test if the generator signal goes it should be started in the high speed so now we are going to test the second 3 and 4 it will change now it's changed to high speed you can see and uh, here you can see we have put in the hard and fault terminal this is for from the generator signal so now the fan are running in high speed mode and once once we will remove the cable then automatically it will turn to the at low speed now we will test the fire alarm fire alarm terminal is for uh, one and two so we will sort one and two we are going to connect now 
now you can see the file activity is shown here and the fan is running in high speed in case of fire now we will reset it here you can see we have connected this one the first first time Now again it came to normal. Now we will just stop it. And here the main supply is coming from this uh, conduit and this going to this terminal from this terminal going to this uh, uh, breakers and there are some fuses dedicated for the contactor and this relays. Uh, this three relays, one for low, one for high, and uh, this transformer we have used for the relay power supply. And this, these are the terminal for the controls. This we have provided for the BMS connections. In the future, if we require for BMS, we can connect through this. And there are four ports, uh, two for uh, as I showed to you, two for uh, fire alarm, the second three and four for generator interface. And uh, this first three RYB is for the low speed, and uh, second RYB three for the high speed. And these are the contactor, and uh, these are the over overload relay. Uh, this relay dedicated for the low speed. So in uh, low speed mode, the fan will take around 1.4 or 1.5 ampere. So here I have set to 1.5 ampere. And uh, this this relay over overload relay for the high speed fan uh, in this actually fan rating is 2 uh, 2 ampere but uh, this relay is uh, till 1.6 ampere that's why it's tripping it's getting tripped after 5 minutes running so we will change change it to 2 ampere maximum 2.5 or 3 ampere we will change it okay thank you so much